Hey guys, welcome to step two. This is a tutorial on your design brief. So here I am currently working on my dashboard and you're going to find your design briefs um, located here on the left and they could be labeled as projects too, but in this case it's still design briefs, so let's go in. Now design briefs are meant to showcase your learning through a project that you do either uh, assigned to you by your teacher or one that you're creating um, for yourself. Now, for lower elementary and upper elementary, you're probably going to be, you know, assigned some problems um, from your teacher, and this is where you're going to document them. Middle and high school, for the most part, these are going to be problems that you guys are going to be creating, that you guys are going to be uh, showcasing your learning through. And once you're done with these design briefs, uh, you're going to have a really cool project that you can showcase in a portfolio um, and be able to submit for grading uh, when it's all said and done. Now in this case, I'm going to pretend like I'm a middle school student, so I'm going to want to make sure I click middle school. Now if I don't click middle school and I pick lower elementary, I'm going to get lower elementary questions. So I want to make sure that I got middle school. So I go ahead and I click create brief. Now before we get into doing our simulation of a problem, I want to showcase what we've got in this interaction, interactive piece. So we got a research, we've got a design, create, test and attachments. You'll notice the little numbers next to each one of the stages of our engineering design model. That just means this is what I'm on, this is what I've completed, um, and there's 18 total questions. Yes, it seems like a lot, but don't be overwhelmed because you'll be doing this over the course of two to three weeks. So it'll be, it'll be easy. Now, when you come down here, notice that when you're, this, this is where you're actually going to be typing. This is where the questions here will guide you. So this first question is identify and justify the need for a solution to the problem. Um, here you can start to click and actually add text. You can go back to your design briefs or continue on to the next step. Now you can quickly go to these next stages only once you have actually started the design brief. Now down at the bottom, don't forget about these. These are your extra tools that will help you complete your design brief. Here we can add a header to this, we can add te another text box, um, we can add a picture or a video to uh, any one of our four categories. Now in this case, let's just go ahead and make up a simulation. Let's do a problem on solar-powered aircraft. I already have it in there, nice. Solar-powered aircraft, that's interesting. Okay, and let's look at our first question. It says, identify and justify the need for a solution to the problem. So I have to identify what the problem is. So I'm going to go ahead and type in here, and let's type the problem. Uh, let's say using, let's make it hard on this, using an FT aircraft design, find a way To use solar panels to create longer flight times. Man, that'd be fun. Okay, so now if you look down here, you'll see you're done with it, or do you want to delete it? I'm good, so I'm going to say done. And you'll notice that it pops up there. But I want this is me identifying the problem, so I'm going to go ahead and click header, and I'm going to say problem. Now, if you notice that I have a header there, it's just kind of floating around. I'm going to grab it and drag it up and plop it on there. And I want to, I want to make this, I want to make this look nice. So I want to add a picture. So I'm going to do a picture, and what I want to do a picture of is that of a solar panel plane, just to kind of, you know, this is what I'm doing. And this kind of shows my teacher too, like, hey, this is this is the route I'm taking. I'm going to create some sort of aircraft with using a FT aircraft that has solar panels on it. So, there we go. I think I'm ready to go on my next step. So I'm going to say, continue the next step. Now when I continue my next step, it shows I'm at two of three, and now I can say, present two or more existing or similar solutions to this problem. So this means that I actually have to go online and kind of, you know, research solar panel plane. And what do I get? So he, these are solutions that have already been done um, that I can base some of my research off of or kind of gain, I guess, some sort of um, 
some help and aid and support when it comes to doing my own. So I would be, you know, from images to actually searching and looking at uh, articles and technical reading and, and writing that I see on the internet, I can then fill out this piece right here where we talk about existing similar solutions to the problem. Now I continue to my next step, it moves on to show research that supports your understanding of related content in correlation with the solution. So for me, I'm probably going to want to look up um, information about uh, airfoil design, information about the planes, the FT aircraft that you know I could possibly use and what would be the benefits and positives of, you know, let's, if we just go to flight test and go to store. And we can look at the airplanes. We can look at all the airplanes. And what aircraft, especially do it yourself, what aircraft could we potentially use for solar panels? Ooh, the FT Explorer would be good. Uh, blade bearing's kind of small. Ooh, the Kraken, now that would be awesome, but probably too big for us. Oh, ooh, the spear. Spear would be great because you can put solar panels all along the the wings and you can house a lot of your electronics in here. This would be perfect. And in fact, I'm kind of cheating already because one of my students is doing this uh, already. So if you go back to your design brief, um, you can actually put in pictures of the FT Spear, the aircraft that you're going to use, but you're also going to want to look at solar panels and how they work and how do you solder them together how do you you know use it what would be the best fit for the spear in terms of solar panel size and flexibility um, so you have to do some research let's go on to the next step design design is you're going to be stating your specifications now in this case we need to use an FT aircraft so we're going to say use an FT aircraft um, some of the other specifications says that you, you know we can say we have to use a solar panel. And if our teachers uh, have a specific solar panel in mind, they're going to say you're going to have to use this specific solar panel. So you kind of list out what are some of the specs that you have to stay around when it comes to building and creating your problem. So move on to the next one. Develop two or more possible thumbnail solutions. So thumbnail solutions are like quick sketches that you can do, or they could be um, images of aircraft that you know that you're actually going to make that have this the actual solution on them already that you can plop right here. These are more in a way of just kind of seeing what your design, you, what your thinking is, and where the you know the teacher can kind of see where you're headed. It kind of helps you out too. The next one is generating your final solution. Now, like I said, I, I was cheating a little bit. So here we have the files for the CAD. Uh, or for the uh, FT Spear, and you can find those within your resources under the CAD Vault. Now, my seventh grade student, uh, Kelly, has already been working on it, and this is what she's got to. So she's using a 1x3 solar panel, and she's going to try to network it like this all across the FT Spear wing. Interesting. We'll see how she goes with that. So you're going to take a screenshot of this, and paste it in here under using the picture. So that would be your final solution. This is your solution that you're going to take into the create stage. So let's move on. Based on the generated solution, develop a design plan that organizes the creation approach. All right, so what do we have to do now that we have our solution? What's the game plan? How am I going to get this thing done? Um, and as I go in and, and kind of create a game plan here, if I move on to create, it's also going to kind of let you kind of put in some of the materials you're going to use. So for us, we're going to be using the CAD Spear Build Kit or the FT Spear uh, Build Kit. We're going to be using uh, hot glue guns, glue slugs, X-Acto knives, and that you know might not be materials. That actually might be for equipment used. Uh, maybe we need to use a soldering iron. Maybe we need to use a scroll saw. Who knows what we need to use for this project? Moving on to time constraints, my teacher's only giving me three weeks to do this, so I have three weeks to get this done um, and completed. Order of operations, one, got my research done, two, my design's done. Next one is I actually start building. I want to start to uh, get my solar panels, start to solder them up as best I can, and start building my FT Spear. And from there, actually starting to test the solar panels to see um, 
how it's affecting my battery and so on. Move into my uh, create five out of six. Is this is like my daily reflection. So once you kind of get into the project, this is where you can kind of write down, type in, saying you know today. I found that um, you know finding the right solar panel is extremely difficult. I'm still on it. Here's some of the sources that I found. Um, now it's a matter of time just getting them ordered in. Next one could be you know day four is I'm actually starting to build the spear. Um, it, it's it's going well. The one thing that I have to figure out is is I might have to take away some of the airfoil lines so that I can implement more of my solar panels and so on. 13 is no any changes and modifications. So as you're building, and if you stay away from her plans or, or you know your plans that you have here, you're going to want to note those changes in your design brief. So you're going to say, I had to eliminate three solar panels in this area here because they just were not working. They weren't fitting, and so on. Continuing my next step. Now it's time to test. So prior to testing, you got to construct two to three testing scenarios for your solution. So we could do endurance test. We could just do a flight test because maybe it's going to be too too heavy to fly. Who knows? Um, and you know, like I said, what batteries does it work best with? Um, and under what conditions? So maybe you try to fly it in a foggy day. How far does our plane fly in a foggy day? How you know, or doing a super sunny day? How? How much longer flight times do we have on a sunny day? Move to your next step in testing time. How did your solution do? You can talk about it. How did you meet the design specifications that you stated earlier? If you had to create another solution to this problem, what would you do differently? So you can kind of talk to that. And at the very end is what is a skill learned in this process you'll be able to take away and use in everyday life? This is a skill set that you're learning. So what can you take from this project that you're going to be able to apply in everyday life? And at the very end, this is where you can apply your attachments, where you can upload some of your um, CAD files. So, you know, for Kelly, she's going to want to upload this to her design brief. And then when you're done, you can say preview or you can say done. Now, saying done doesn't mean that it's going to your teacher. You can constantly go back and edit your design brief anytime you want, and you can view it anytime you want. So, like I said, here we have, you can view the whole thing at once too. So you can see this, um, you can, you know, you can see what you've got done. You can see where you're at within create. You can see where you're at within testing. Um, and you can submit for a review to your teacher or you can share a link. You know, you can type this in. Uh, you can say, uh, I want to share it to so-and-so to take a look at. Or I want to share it to my parents to take a look at. I can print it. Um, or if I think I'm ready to go. I can say submit for a review. Once it does that, your teacher now has your design brief. They can review it, send it back to give feedback, or they can go ahead and grade it and put it in the system. But that's how you guys go to create a design brief. Create a lot of them. Be proud of them. That's your work. That's your evidence of learning. And uh, keep flying.